So thank you so much, Nicolo, for your very kind introduction. And thank you, everyone, for being here today on such a special occasion for us. So before you listen to the individual presentations by the scientists, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the science at RAF, which focuses on tissue reconstruction after physical trauma. So by physical trauma, we mean major surgery, burns, severe wounds, or traumatic injuries. And by tissue reconstruction, we mean to physically replace or rebuild missing tissue parts. So the research pathway at RAF is actually quite unique because we start with patients and we end with patients. So we go to the patients, we see what the clinical problem is, then surgeons and scientists work out together a solution, we do the research around this solution, and finally it is translated into a product or a surgical technique so we can give it back to the patients. At the moment, we have four research programs at RAF. The first program is skin wound healing, where we are working on burns, chronic wounds, and keloid scars. The second program is breast reconstruction after mastectomy. The third program is bone regeneration. And finally, we're working on facial reconstruction using 3D printing. So you may look at these programs and you may think that they look very different between themselves. But actually, there's a common theme running through all of them. So what is this common theme? So if we look at how tissue healing works naturally in the body, whenever we suffer an injury, the first thing that happens is that our body stops the bleeding. After that, there's an inflammatory response when all the immune cells arrive to the injury site and protect the wound from infection. But they also start sending signals out, so tissue cells arrive there and build new tissue. And finally, this new tissue is remodeled into sometimes a scar, like we see with the skin, or sometimes normal tissue, like we see with bone or the liver. So how can we help the body through this natural healing process? Or how can we even enhance this process? So we can do that using something called tissue engineering. So tissue engineering literally means to build tissues in the lab that we then implant back into the patients. So you may be wondering, how can you build tissues in the lab? Actually, we only need three key, three key ingredients to do that. The first ingredient is a biomaterial that acts as a scaffold so cells can attach to it, proliferate, and form the new tissue. <coughs> and on many occasions, we need to give these cells some kind of molecular cue so they produce the tissue that we want. So you'll see today that our work is incredibly ambitious, and we wouldn't be able to do it alone. So we pride ourselves in working with world-class academic institutions, clinicians, and even industry. And I'd like to leave you with some figures that show the impact that our science had in the last five years. 